welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 429, NASDAQ off 231, S&P's off 67, gold. Gold contract up $3.20, traded at a price point of 17.84 an ounce. It's silver down 3 cents, $22.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 267. $74.26 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, trading uh, up 16 ticks at 114.11. The 30-year up a full point, plus 18 ticks at 130.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 273 ticks, trading 105.561. Euro is at 104. Yen is at 136. The British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Sorry about that, folks. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's. Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're gonna have volume out here today, folks. So the steam engine is starting to go in a big way. So we have fifty-four million in the spy. I did seventy-two yesterday. That's only gonna come in at seventy-two or whatever it's gonna come in at. Uh, you're coming into 74. It might take this gaps wide open. That's where we're going after. That's going to be 381. Right now, you're at 392. We go to the NDX 100, the three Qs. That's getting closer to that gap. The gap inside the three Qs, you know, bottom line. First, we got inside the lower range at 293. Now, what has happened is that now you're inside the range of 284. So, it does two different things. So, the way a gap works, folks, is this. A gap is the same as a swing point. So no, normally, so if this gap wasn't here, I would be saying that, okay, we're gonna go down to 259, but the gap's there. So what you have there is that I suspect it's gonna go fill that gap, and that gap is at 268. Now, we start accelerating with volume. You know, we know, let me go back to the SPY again, because what's happening, we know we have a much larger ABC structure on the way down. So we take a look at this, you're going to see how this was set up. So here, I'll leave this one here first. Because you remember, we had the ABC going up. And that number, well, first we had the ABC down, which is still in place. We had the intraday into a week ABC up, which was 4.1103. And we had 4.10. I suspect that's it, man. That's all she wrote. Now you go back to the ABC down. And now if you take a look at this, what you're going to see, we put this on a monthly. What you're going to see out here. Oh, let me put on a weekly first and see what this looks like. So on the weekly, we know that when we talked to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, yesterday, this is about as clear as you can get, man. That trend line that's coming down, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, our man, Bob Rolfs. It's like, okay, bottom line, this is the fourth, third time it came up to the trend line, gave it up, okay? So bottom line, we're going after the lows, but then if you take a look at the monthly, the monthly is a very large ABC structure on the way down, so... You know, we'll see where this shakes out. The, the first leg, I suspect that we are not going to go break the bottom. And the reason for that is that, and we go to the weeklies again, is that because we did, and this is where Fibonacci is so cool, man, because the bottom line is that we did over a .618 retracement of, oh, not that one, one second, of the last move down. So not the full move, of the last move down. So if we take a look at this, let's just the last move down. What you're going to see, there it is. You're going to see that we basically got by the 618. So the cool thing about Fibonacci, folks, expansion contraction theory, is the aspect that when you understand, you know, the probabilities with the expansion contraction, it's like, okay, so picture we come all the way down. If you come all the way down, then the volume starts dying on the vine. Guess what, man? That's going to be the buy. If, we, if the volume doesn't die on the vine, with, what that is saying is that, guess what, man? You are going topside once again. It will stay in a consolidation. It will build more cars for that larger ABC structure down. Let's go take a look at the gold market. So this is really tricky in the gold market. And, you know, living in the gold market, trading actively in the gold market for 21 years now. So 
This is what the danger is. This is, this is you know, all you tigers and tigresses, the ones that own gold stocks, you're going to know this upside down, man. And it's dangerous right now. And here's the danger part. This is what it is. So picture. Today we're, we're up 350. And you have 120,000 contracts. Well, we came down yesterday with 170. Now, that being said, all these gold stocks, right, are acting great. But we know... What happens with the gold stocks, folks, is this, is that they can act great, act great as the market's going lower, and then all of a sudden, the bottom falls out. Now, if I stay right here and look at it, I says, oh, man, hold it. You know, the, here, so here, here's the bull and bear case that I'm playing with my head, and I'm sure all you tigers and tigers desire, too, if you're in the market. It's like, okay. We've come down dramatically, but yet the gold stocks have held really well. Well, that says to me, like, I'm looking at them saying, man, I want to buy more gold stocks. I'll tell you just what's going on in my head. It's like, okay, hold it. I like this. I mean, the first inkling that I think this market could go up at all, I really want to go like crazy. That being said, I've been doing this long enough that I know that, okay, man, you know, are we just right around the corner of a ba-boom? And guess what? I don't know. That's the bottom line. I'm just bringing it up so all you tigers and tigresses can do the same mental calisthenics in your head. Because the gold, these gold stocks are the only ones that are holding up in the whole market, you know. You know. So then I, then, then I go to the dollar. And as I go to the dollar, the dollar is saying to me, man, this thing wants higher price. So if we start putting that together. It's like, okay, if the dollar's going to want higher price, it's just going to be a matter of when that, you know, you get a downdraft in it. I, I know that institutions are coming in the gold market for sure, okay? With 13 Fs have been filing, you know, they're, they're, they're accumulating right now. You know, you can see on some of these downdrafts, you know, they're, they're staying right where they are, man. You know, so bottom line, we'll see where it shakes out. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 462, NASDAQ off 254, S&Ps are off 37. If we take a look at the uh, volume characteristics inside the indices, that is also going to have volume. Right now, you're at 511 on the NYSE. We take a look at the NASDAQ composite. The NASDAQ composite is 3.6. So the NASDAQ composite will end up doing like $5 billion. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Dow. Dow's down 458. NASDAQ's down 252. S&Ps are off 72. We'll come right back.